In today's video, I'm showing you how to download Fortnite on PC as well as on a laptop. Now, this is a really useful tutorial, so make sure you keep watching. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And while you're doing that, go and leave a like as well. So it's a really useful tutorial. I'm literally going for the full install process of Fortnite as well as downloading it, where to download it, everything you need to know. So make sure you watch the video right to the end and let's get into this. As you can see, I'm now on my desktop and let's go and continue with this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is go and up, open up a browser. Um, that can be any browser, but quickly, on a quickly note, Fortnite isn't available in applications or launchers like Steam. It has its own launcher by its creators called Epic Games. I'm just showing you the full steps. It can be complicated, but hopefully within this tutorial, I'll be simplifying it for you. So it's really easy to do and make sure you watch every single step within this tutorial. So let's go into this, open up your browser. So I'm using Chrome and then go to a search engine such as Google. And then you want to do is simply search for Epic Games. Like I said before, Epic Games is the launcher for Fortnite and they're the creators of it. Then you'll come to epicgames.com and wait for it to load. And you'll have this here, wait a minute. And then you're gonna have all this upper sort of navigation bar. So of course, to go and create an account to go and play Fortnite, you need to go and click sign in. And you have all these options here. Um, but if you haven't got an account, you wanna go and click sign up. And then you can go and sign up with one of these um, or you can go sign in straight with one of the others. So yeah, I'm gonna go and click sign in as I've got an account, but there are so many options of signing in or signing up for that matter. So yeah, let's go and sign in. So I've got my account here, sign with Epic Games, and then I'm gonna go and wait for this to load. And it's remembered all my details, which is super useful. So I'm gonna click login now and wait for it to log me in. And I'm now logged in. So then all I'm gonna do is click get Epic Games up here. And then it's gonna start the installer already for you. So it's quite an easy process. Now the internet speed will actually depend on your internet connection, so just bear that in mind. Anyways, let's go and actually install this. So all you want to do is click on the launcher here with the installer. Then it's going to bring up where you'd like to install the Epic Games launcher to. So I'm going to set it to my program files. Then when you click install, it's going to bring up a window security pop-up. All you want to do is click yes if you go along with the rules. And then it's going to go and simply install it. So just let this run for its whole process and then I'll catch you up within a minute when we have another update. Then this Epic Games window just popped up as you can see and it essentially is down at loading the launcher update just so it's on the latest update available. And this will once again depend on your internet connection but this appeared all by itself. I didn't um, launch anything. Continue to wait and then we'll go and jump into this. But if nothing did launch then, I'd recommend just searching Epic Games as it may have installed but not updated so then you can run through the update process um, but otherwise just reinstall it but this is absolutely fine at the minute so just let it run for its thing and i just had another window security pop up and now epic games has temporarily disappeared but it's going to reappear you're just going to let it simply relaunch itself and then we can we are good to go as you can see it's now relaunched itself and uh, we can go and jump into the rest of this tutorial so then you need to go and sign in with that account you previously just made um, or you already have one. So I just clicked in sign in with Epic Games. I'm going to enter my email and password and then we can go and continue. So I'm now logging in and then I'll be showing you the next steps you need to follow. So it won't take a minute to log in hopefully. And then we can go, as you can see, it's now preparing the Epic Games launcher and we can continue to wait and uh, we'll go from there. Now there may be a few more options as well we have once this loads, um, but I'll be showing you those once it's ready. So once Epic Games is fully launched, then you can be taken to this page here. You may be on the home section. What you want to do is come to the store and come to the top right where it says search. So type in Fortnite, just like so, and then you press enter and it's going to bring it here. So as you can see, it's all available here. There may be a button like add to add to library or something like that, but I've already done it on this account. So it's actually in my library. So once it's in your library, it may already be there or on home, it's at the top as well. So there are a few different options for how you can actually get access to it. So actually by clicking on home and then Fortnite, it brings up the installer as well as coming to my um, my library, clicking here, it brings up where I can go and install it. So I'm gonna go and change the install location. I recommend this if you have an SSD as it takes up a lot of space, so yeah. Change the install location to a hard drive if you can. Uh, so I'll click select folder and then go and click install and it's gonna go and start the download. To go and see how the download is, simply wait for it to start and then it's gonna launch this and uh, you can click off this and it's now installing. So click on there and you can pause it. If you come to downloads, it actually shows you your current download speed, your write speed, your and yeah, your read speed. So that is everything guys. Then just let it go and install. It, as you can see, it's 30 gigs, so it's gonna take quite a while. But yeah, if you found this video useful, subscribe down below, leave a like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.